Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Four to Make You Loco channel. It's great to be back uh, after a four or five week hiatus here. Been real busy at the shop, went to SEMA for Vegas. Uh, but today I have something new for you. Uh, we have a 2019 Ford F-150 in the shop here for a blown engine. Uh, so it's a second gen 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine and the guy went to go past someone and the engine just let loose. Rods went out the sides of the block. Now, before you guys start passing judgment on Ford, this engine was aggressively tuned. The tune literally said aggressive tune uh, that was put into here. Um, he had 1,000 cc port fuel injection injectors put into here, a bigger intercooler, stuff like that. But otherwise, it was stock. So stock turbos, stock long block, and it just couldn't handle the power. The guy was pushing it way too much and it let loose out the side of the block. Um, so we had the engine swapped out when that's all good to go and, and, and done already. Uh, runs great. Brand new engine from Ford. Uh, just need to get the E85 out of the tank he was running in there. Um, but I have the old engine in the stand here, and I want to show you everything that just kind of came apart inside of here. It's pretty gnarly inside of there. So uh, let's go over the engine. Check it out. All right, Alex, you ready to dig into this? Yep, let's dig into it. Let's dig into it for sure, indeed. Uh, I'm really interested to see how far its destruction goes. So like I said, this engine has around 137,000 miles on it from that 2019 F-150 right there. Alex actually pulled the body on that sucker, pulled this old guy out, and put in the new engine, new turbos, all that good stuff, pretty much by himself. Now it's overlooking everything that he was doing and all that stuff, but he's really good about attention to detail and torquing and all that stuff. So I checked it over. Darn good job, Alex. Uh, so what, what, what I wanted to do real quick was just kind of go over this engine from top to bottom. There's a lot of pieces everywhere from it. Uh, just kind of look at a few things, and then at the end, we're going we're gonna to pull a pan on there and get a really good idea of what happened to it. So first and foremost, I want to show you over here on this side where the rod came through the blocks. This, is, uh, uh, this should be Cylinder 1's rod right here. You can see it. So Lily broke, came around, and went right through the side of the block there. Look at that sucker. Look at that. So that came through on this side. There's chunks down here. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. And then the other two cylinders are basically okay. Uh, but over here on four, yeah. What happened on four? So I'm not sure if the which rod went first or if this side's even broken. Uh, you know, once stuff starts flying around inside of their high speeds, it just kind of gets into a mangled mess. Once you pull the pan, you'll be able to tell a lot better. But look at this side too. I mean, there's just oil everywhere under the vehicle. And then there was a mixture of oil and coolant according to the first shop you brought it to. Um, so you know what that means. That means it hit the head. And it went into, into the cooling jackets and all that stuff. So... Uh, the one thing I also noticed is, you know, on the, the, the exhaust valves are okay on all the rest of these, except for, again, one and four. So you look down inside of there, let me get you, there we go. You can look down inside of there, the tips of the valves are just totally gone. Totally gone. And I think just one side's missing over here. Yeah, that valve's just sitting there pretty, see it? And this guy's gone, see it? The head's just gone. And then the rest of these are all fine. So when we were pulling it apart, let me get you in here, here's one of the valves. <laughs> it's just sitting there like that, mangled up. Thing's pretty darn hefty too, I tell you what. Uh, here's all the pieces from the side of the block that he found. And then here's the intake. We didn't know how bad it was at first. Uh, once we saw this and get a look down inside of here, you see all the metal in here? I mean, there's good sized chunks and stuff. It's, it's an open design because it's, it's a boosted engine, but there's a lot in there. And this intake doesn't cost that much. So I made sure I ordered a new one, put it on there. Lots of fine speckles. But then you get back here, look at that. You start getting the bigger chunks in there. See them all in there? It's a nightmare. I think back here we had what looks, looks to be looks to be a compression ring. I didn't pull it out and look at it yet, but it's a compression right there. And then we did have a follower fail. 
on there. Now I don't see any flat spots, you know, like how they fail on the three valves. Let me get you in closer here and focus. There we go. So the roller on here has no flat spots necessarily and the needles look okay, but man, even the, there's no real wear on here either. So I don't think the actual foul or fail, I think it just failed as part of the um, destruction of the rod on there and the piston come through the block and all that stuff. So yeah, that sucker broke right in half. There's two halves of it right there. That's crazy. And then all those pieces over there. So um, the other thing I want to show you is the spark plugs. So this side, as you would expect, is a little mangled. See that? Look at the center electrode. All the porcelain's down inside of there. And then on this side, it's kind of the same thing. <clears throat> but this one, it got thrown way up in there. I got pushed way up in there. So we'll go ahead and pull the covers on here. We'll check it out real quick. Whoa. cover on this side so i think it was yeah this side right here on cylinder one come on there you go so you can see on cylinder one um on one of the exhaust valves here i'm surprised the head's gone on there but the actual uh valve spring looks okay it looks like it may be bent right there maybe broken but it definitely didn't pop the keepers and uh and drop a valve See right there, it's all fully intact. It's got a little weird janky thing going right there with it. Uh, the rest of them kind of like that too though, a little bit. So it looks like this part of it's all intact here, but this is where that follower came from. That failed. And you can see there's a little bit of wear on there, but nothing really compared to the rest of them on here. Um, looking down the intake ports on here, yeah, that fine metal is throughout. You look at all of these, because once it gets an intake and kind of backfed through there and, and then it gets sucked through there and mixed around, it just kind of disperses it to all the cylinders. Makes a huge mess. Uh, but otherwise, you know, you can see, you look down inside of here, I mean, the guy took care of it pretty well. It's nice and clean in here, up here. He has the original phasers design that makes the right along startup, but they don't self-destruct. Chains appear to be intact. When I look down inside of there, uh, everything looks good to go and that the rod just simply let go and went through the side of the block. So let's go ahead and pull the pan and we'll check it out. Pulling the pan. Oh dear Lord, sounds like it's full and heavy. Is those tin foil, tin foil balls? What the heck? What the heck? Holy moly, we got wrist pin, we have skirting, we have piston tops. Even intake valves. Oh, there is an intake valve right there. Mm -hmm. See, there's the, the compression rings right there. And obviously, she mixed in, uh, wow. Mixed in oil control rings and all that. I mean, this is mass destruction right here. Whoa. All right, well, let's put that to the side for right now. And let's roll this and uh, check out the, the, the bottom side there, the bottom end. Holy cow. Those are like foil balls that got mashed up on you. Okay, Ford, you're not gonna rebuild this one. Holy, oh. oh. Metal here, obviously. Back here, everything looks fine. But right here, if you look at it, yeah. Crank is all gnarled up. Rods are broken. Uh, the baffle all across here obviously got broken. Isn't it amazing? That must have been a real high speed failure because 
it was able to have enough momentum going, going, going to kind of mash up those pistons like foil balls and get them through these slots on here to fall into the pan. Let me see that again. And these are good size to fall through here. Hey, hold the light for me. Let me see here. I'm gonna keep this sucker. Nice wrist pin in here. But these, I mean, well, I guess they got mangled enough they can kinda fall through. Wow. Usually you see the bottom skirting, all that stuff broken on a piston. And, uh, you know, maybe rods detached at, that, at the wrist pin, stuff like that. And it's usually up inside there, maybe, but these. Hey, look at this. Look at this. It's like a foil ball. Let's see if we can play the game and identify all this stuff. So, piston material. Piston, obviously, piston. Um, this looks like here. pieces of... Probably for this. That's like pieces of the block. Mm -hmm. This too. Holy moly. Uh, the same thing. Wow. Look at, look at the amount. Look at this. <laughs> wow. That has some time to munch. It's like a blender. Uh, what's that? That's an exhaust. Mm -hmm. Looks like exhaust. Mm -hmm. And this one is an intake from somewhere. Mm -hmm. See it? Yeah. Now what's this piece right here? This is from, like a stamped metal piece. Is that from like the pickup or something? Oh, that's a bearing. Oh. You see the wheel, wheel channel in there? Oh, yeah. I know you guys are having a hard time seeing this stuff. There we go. Sorry about the focusing problem, guys. I'm gonna get you down in here. See if you can focus there. Compression. Wow. Wow. More valves. More pieces. That same piston ring? A, a wrist pin? Here's the Holy moly. Wow. So, there we go. What I want to do real quick is just pull this pickup on here and uh, the rest of that baffle and get a little bit better idea of the uh, connecting rod. You see it right there? It's going up through there. Hello. See it? It spins nice. right through that it's pretty incredible to see when they you know just self-destruct this horrifically like this I mean, this is high rpm stuff going on here and it just let loose anything in the way it was over <laughs> look at the the pickup on here we'll, we'll pull the pickup off of here but it took this out too you can see the bend in it holy moly that is crazy so we'll pull it off. We'll check it out a little bit more. But yeah, that's what happened. All right, so we have that windage tray out of there. What's left of it. Got that out of there. And the pickup. Look at it. Hit it. Boom. Slice it. That nice hole in there. This has to be one of the most catastrophic failures ever. Ever that ever, ever, ever seen. And it makes sense because it's tuned. It's trying to pass someone. High RPM. And popped off so these cylinders back here the rest of them and you look down inside of there they unscathed basically uh the way it looks is that number one right here this is the one that failed and it came through the side of the block obviously pull it up you can see it right there nice little failure there look at that so this one popped and went through the side and then once all that started happening, all those pieces were floating around this cavity right here. Um, it took out, took out number four over here. And then of course that just self-destructed until there's nothing left, until it stopped basically on them. So let's try to look down inside of here. See a nice little chunk embedded. Look at that. 
Ooh, it's just embedded in there. That's some hardcore stuff. There it is. So let's look down inside of here. I think you put the light over here, right? And if we can look down inside of here, you can see that's a cylinder head, the bottom side of the cylinder head. So both intakes are there and the exhaust is missing. You can see it right there. It's all banged up inside of there. That's where all the coolant came from. When it starts beating on the head like that, you'll start mixing coolant oil real quick. And then on this side, you can see um, the rod is mainly intact. You can see it right there, it's bent. Looks well, bent anyway. Uh, it's bent and the wrist pin's still there, but the piston, you know, it's in a self-destruct. Look at that. Whew. I can't, that's a little too close. Look through here, uh, put right there. So you can kind of see it. So on this side, I believe he lost both exhausts and one intake on this side. Look at that. I mean, it's, this whole block is just done for. It's a big freaking mess. But I want to show you guys. <laughs> this is what happens when you start putting tunes on a stock engine. Yeah. It's going to let loose sooner or later. And this guy, I don't know how long it's been on here, but man, when it went, it went, and it cost them some big, big dollars. That's all for now. See you guys next time.